Jesus Christ, my beard is really thick. <laughs> You're looking uh, pretty swole right now. I'm being, if I'm being honest. I this this angles. I actually do from this angle. I look buff as shit. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, can you not do that while we're in call, please? Sorry. Your turn. <laughs> you, you got. You, can you can you buff for me, please? Can you, can you, can you, can you buff? It's pretty sick, bro. Hang on, let me check. Hang on, I just need to check to see if I need to. Yes, I have. Okay, cool. Ooh, for free? For free? Shut the fuck up. Shut up! Your yacht? Sticking out your yacht for the Rizzler. <laughs> You're, just... You're just too skibbity, bro. You're just too skibbity. Too much Phantom Tax. I, I beg of you. <laughs> I echo you. <laughs> you cease this activity. So you don't live in London. Where and where you work is like what do you where do you work? Not necessarily like I don't need the street. So I assume you know Tesco's or I mean, assume you know Tesco's, don't you? Sort of, yeah. Alongside it, we have a uh, they, they have a phone like a phone shop inside it, where like a, you know like you find like phone contracts and all that per month fee and all that. Uh, that, oh, yeah. that's where I work, basically. So that's in London. Uh, it's not in London. It's, just, it's the, I live, I'll say this, I live you're, literally- You're breaking my idea of, of Britain. I thought it was just London. I live literally nowhere near London. I literally live in the South. It's, London's like, it, London's like more nearer to the center. I'm nowhere near that. If you don't live in London, then, then- where, where do you live? Well, it's a little coastal town in the little, like, sort of, like, coastal area in the south. I don't want to say the exact name of it, but it's in a it's in a county called Dorset, and I chose to live there because I was born there. Fair enough. Didn't you used to live in London, though? No, I, I never lived in London. I've literally always lived here. Oh. oh, hey, what's it like listening to yourself? I loathe it. I hate it so much. You saw it. You saw Hannah running towards you. I'm what turning, so I'm turning I'm... down the volume of this right away. Uh, oh, what would you rate my Sebastian impression right now before I learn things? Uh, out of ten. Uh, how, I'd say an eight. I'd say an eight. How, how's my British accent then? Uh, play it again. I need to have a listen because I have a proper listen so I can properly judge. Odd. Since you have only worked for Trancy for one month, you didn't know anything about it. Hannah. Prepare to attack. Um. Seven. Seven. That's still respectable. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's not bad. It, it needs work. It's not. It's not. It needs work to like do the inflections, but it's not bad. Yeah, that's the thing. That's that's where it is. It's the inflections. It's the word choice. It's where I'm like, yo, that's so cool, and that's just not something. That's not the way you would say it. That's a very California way of talking. Everyone who's watching right now needs to go over right now and subscribe to SD Entertainment so that he can get to 250 subscribers and he will, he promised to make a video, a very special video for 250 subscribers. Yes. So go do it now. Yes, I did. I 100% did say I would do that. A very long time ago. Yeah, and I, st I haven't forgotten it. I do, still do keep to the promise that I will do it when it happens. So what's it, what's it like to know that everything that's come out of UK was, uh, you know, basically uh, Doctor Who? You know, at this point, it probably fucking it probably is. I mean, it's. I mean, you guys. I mean, you guys have um, other stuff from us. I think, don't you? Oh yeah, no. As soon as we start, as soon as we start listing things, there's gonna be stuff. Uh, I mean, there's there's like there's so many bands from the 60s and 70s and forever uh, and then there's Beatles is the know. Beatles is the only example you have isn't it well there's the Beatles there's the Rolling Stones um, there's Queen there's uh, oh Rick Astley is yeah, from the UK I there's uh, Ed Sheeran so every so every redhead is from the, is from Britain uh, <laughs> And I am in love with the shape of him. <laughs> also, I just want to keep a random mention. Like, for as nice for guys as Sheeran is, he's got a really goofy face. Like, I'm gonna say, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if you can see this, but like, 
I hope he gets sense because he just has. Ed, Ed Sheeran just has, like, looks like a really this a really goofy guy. Like, look at the face. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. I'm noticing that. I'm noticing that up. one eye is what though his left eye is drifting away from the other. Like, episodes. <laughs> 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 he looks like an NPC. I don't know if you can see this, but my so my roommate is a redhead, and then this is the picture I have for his profile. Let's see if it doesn't. It exposes. There we go. Uh, it's just Ed Sheeran's face, and it's a close-up. Oh, that's right. I don't have my camera sent to... Oh. Dang it. I just doxed him. Eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> that was so Sniper bad. Wolf got away with it. <laughs> wow, we're going, now we're going into some deep cuts here. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's... So I don't know what we were talking about, but there's there's a whole thing. Oh, yeah, I saw this, and I don't know a single word that is happening here. Four years ago, I was doing trolleys at Sansbury on a Monday night. I left, worked hard, and got a degree from the University of Sheffield. Now I'm doing trolleys at Waitrose on Friday night. Never give up. That poor bastard. That poor son I of a bitch. I, I, it, it's, I, feel, I feel legitimately sorry for him. I don't know what Sansbury is. He got a degree from University... Sainsbury? Sainsbury's and Waitrose are two other supermarket chains in the uh, UK. Okay. Basically. And I don't know University of Sheffield. Is that like prestigious or is that kind of like... Yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite prestigious. But yeah, for context... So it's still... So yeah, for context in the uh, UK... Like Waitrose is kind of like a lesser one, but like the big three in the UK are Tesco... Wait, Tesco... Sainsbury's and Asda, basically, and I've worked for two of those. And Asda, fun fact, Asda is owned by Walmart. Huh. I was going to say, Walmart is probably the biggest one, and then there's Target, and then I the prophecy. really have no idea. There's nothing that's, like, really much of a supermarket around here that's full. You Like, there's we have something called Wegmans in the Northeast, and then you get more to, like, the south, and you have, um... Because it's not around here, so I don't know the name of it. Uh... It starts with a... The only two places... The only three places I know, or I know off the top of my head, are Walmart, Best Buy, and Costco, and that's about it. So Costco is one that you have, need a membership for. What, to, like, and, what, to, like, what to, like uh, straight up shop there? Yeah, yeah, you have to pay... Because it's a wholesale, so you get things for cheap, but you have to pay for a, 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 a membership. I, I've never heard of anything doing that before, but okay. Capitalism, baby! We only feel red, white, and blue in our blood. USA, USA. Ba, ba, ba. Are you about to start doing the, the, uh, Russian, the Soviet Russian national anthem <laughs> instead, then? I was about to do this. I don't know my national anthem. Shut up. I only... I do... <laughs> The thing. <laughs> I could do it if I start singing it. Um, oh, say, can you see? I love, I love my. Just, anyway. just, just, you just stop trying, man. <laughs> and we beat the British at least once or twice. And like. Get fucked. Like, in like the 1800s. Like. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I, I need. Hold on, I need to go to go grab something real quick. Okay. Anyway, that was a sip out of my Copix mug. I know you can't see it because I'm not sharing my camera. Oh, you're advertising. Yep. The the, the British are currently sponsored by me. You're that's... No. Uh, <laughs> no, that's probably very... You're welcome. Look, I will donate $2. Oh. 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 This, oh. this one is going to piss me off. If I, am, I, I can already tell from the way this is... 
I can already tell this is when American. Really annoying. All right, you're gonna to have to tell me how accurate this order. is. Okay. Hi, can I just get a cheeseburger with extra chips? I mean fries. <laughs> Guys, chips. <laughs> He's definitely British. And what drink, sir? A water, please. Okay, that'll be nine ninety five. Pay at the window. You're the British guy, right? Oh. God. What you got? Uh, chips and a hamburger with a uh, a bottle of water. <laughs> Are you done? Dude, I'm kidding, man. I love Harry Potter. Cool. Um, I've got a discount coupon. I would, yeah. <laughs> I want to slam his head in the window. Sir, this expired. It's valid until Wednesday. What day is it today, sir? It's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> what I was gonna, I was gonna do that. I was gonna do that if he didn't say it. <laughs> if you did that to me, I would actively leave the call. I am legitimately not kidding. <laughs> Oh, I know it. It it it, 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 it pisses you, you off so much. Do you much. still want my rating? Yes. One out. Do. One out of ten. Next. One out of ten. <laughs> next meme. Uh. I would have put Newcastle in a... there. But I would have put Newcastle in there, but okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Fair enough. Hey, hey, British people, when they hear kilometers per hour instead of cup of teas per colonized nation, <laughs> they're all great flavored confusion. <laughs> what's the what's the Americans one? A washing machine per browning high power. Bald eagles per diesel engine. Bald eagles per Chevrolet Camaro. <laughs> Wank. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the word they chose? Why was that the... So I'm assuming you know what that means. I understand. Good. I understand. Good. Why was that the word they chose? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what what does this mean though? What's up here? Quatted. Yeah, I don't know what that means. That basically mean that basically means hit. That's basically our way of saying hit. Because I know that usually like that's that's like a an insult. That's an insult. That. That's an insult. That's also the um, another uh, another term for a uh, woman's. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. But it's all. But they also use the um, term like twatted as like a like. Oh, you know, you, you know, knocked out. You know, oh, you twatted, mate. You know all of that. Mm hmm. Well, I went into my like proper British heritage there for a minute. Jesus. Wow. Um... <laughs> Yes, legitimately, yes. I do... <laughs> I know that a hundred percent. I don't even know is... what a CX is. So basically, uh, CX in the UK is a like one of the biggest uh, trading uh, stores for like movies, uh, get movies and games oh. and all that. It's one of the few places basically that's like international in the UK where you can get like stuff like ps2 games and xbox games and all that and even nintendo and even like stuff like nintendo 64 and super nintendo and i can make full confirmation that most people that work there do look like that though the body over intensify the body odor intensifies thing i'm not so sure about i feel that more belongs to um a store called games workshop very really morphed the USA Skittles to make the British flag. God, God bless. I didn't see it. <laughs> 71 years in the line of for the throne gets coronavirus. Corona is Latin for crown. <laughs> Bro wins in the end. Have you seen the parody of his speech? That no. He did, uh, somebody did like a parody of like, his speech where it was like, start off like as it normally did. I was like, you know, for my dear, for, like, for the passing of our dear benefactor, my mother, the queen, but now Charlie's in charge, and this shit's about to get real. <laughs> First of all, America, we're taking you back. You can't have had it good for far too long. <laughs> I think I might have actually seen that one time. It just uh, keeps going. It, it just keeps going from there. <laughs> so I had, I was going to show you this a little later, but I had a few, a few videos that popped up. So here's, here's the first one. I think people are getting a bit confused. I said I'm getting into gaming, not gay men. Okay? <laughs> gaming as in Fortnite, COD, COD, anything like that. Not gay men. All right. Oh, the British. 
Gay man. Uh, why the fuck? Here you go. Why, like? I'm Hold on. What were you gonna say? <laughs> I don't keep going. I wasn't gonna say anything. Keep going. But you can call me Barty. And who's the fairest maiden in the school? It is without a doubt Baroness Cressida Binky. What's your name? Baroness Cressida Binky. And do you know Bartholomew Hamish Montgomery? The Viscount. Yeah. What do you rate him out of ten? Uh, Ted, Nate, what's your name? I am Tarquin Tarquinson the third. <laughs> and who's the most beautiful <laughs> lady in the school? Oh, mate, Minty Minterson of the certified Linda Langers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? <laughs> Minty Minterson. And do you know Tarquin Tarquinson the third? I understand third? every word they're saying. I don't understand anything! <laughs> <laughs> and what do you rate him out of ten? A point three. What's your name? Nate, you know my name. It's on the side of this building. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my mistake. Prince Xavier of Switzerland. Who is the hottest babe in school? Oh, it would have to be Ruby Sapphire Diamond. Hi, who am I with? Uh, Ruby Diamond Sapphire, of course. <laughs> Do you know Prince Xavier of Switzerland? Uh, who doesn't? <laughs> and what would you rate him out of ten? I don't need to rate people, darling. What's your name? I'm Bartholomew. I literally understood every single word he was say they were saying in that video. He w they were saying words? I thought they just came up with random words. What does that mean? Yeah, they were making up words. They were com Hold on. completely speaking bloody nonsense. Yeah. What do you rate him out of ten? Uh, ten. That yell was German. His trust fund is wham. <laughs> no, that's... But it's all complete gibberish, I assure you. It is all complete gibberish. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> What's a Bundelangus? That is not a word. Like, That's I what I was saying. I promise I was going to say. I understood most of it. I just, there was just like random words thrown in there. I was like, I don't know. Oh, here you go. We were talking about... You, you, you first. I, I move on I quick. Like, I was going to just say, I'm going to use Bundelangers in that modern sense <laughs> Bundelangers. Uh, so here you go. We were just talking about, about beer. Good Let's products see. that us Brits do far better. I used to have an American girlfriend and she <clears> spent <throat> all day ranting and raving at how good Bud Light beer was. But then one day I showed her my British <laughs> big cock and she immediately shut up and got down on her knees in appreciation. <laughs> Britain wins round one. And if I have I to listen say to I've one more cock. American chewing my ear off about how good Miller Light like beer is, I'll be physically sick. Because if you've never tried a <laughs> British slag, you've never experienced perfection. Britain wins round two. Now, if you've ever been around one of our American cousins, you'll notice how they oh. nearly spontaneously combust if you dare to criticise their Californian Napa Valley wines. But the reason we're so judgmental is because we get to drink magical penis wine whenever we want. If the Americans got their lips round this, they'd soon come around. Britain wins again. <laughs> and finally, I must get 50 messages a day from Americans raving about Lipton tea. And they all get the same copy and paste reply from me. British defecation tea. Britain wins again. <laughs> Follow Double G for more utter nonsense. Literally none of those exist. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I believe you. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure they do, but I've literally never seen any of them. I mean, most of the stuff that they had on there, we actually even have over here anyway. Like, God, that we didn't have Miller. We didn't have Miller, but we definitely have Bud Light. In fact, I um, kind of I've grabbed this out of my bin, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I did have some earlier. Sweaty Gamer 101 here. Yeah, there's about another hour's worth of content that just got completely ruined and destroyed, and I've already been working on this way too long because I'm trying to make this work and easy, but it didn't actually go easy. It just went even harder than I wanted. It's a whole thing, and you don't really care. Thank you, Liam, so much for showing me how to do the British, and this has been an invaluable lesson on how to do Sebastian. I can count on one finger the things I have learned, and that is... You know what? We'll get back to that. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Peace.